You will be hard pressed to find a more ferocious backcourt duo than the one that resides in Seattle. Jasmine Davis, Kelsey Plum together averaged more than 40 points per game last season, and that was back when Kelsey was just a shy, quiet little freshman. <laughs> well, that's not how you would describe her. I don't You're shaking your head. Shy. I didn't see that. Head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Mike Neighbors, Jazz Davis, thanks for being here. That's not Kelsey. She's not. She's not quiet or shy. Not no. in the <laughs> least right. bit. Okay, good to have you guys. Both Thanks here. for having us. Uh, Coach, offseason last year, maybe a little bit more of a scramble, I'm assuming, as you were coming in, taking over for Kevin McGuff. As you look back, any big surprises from your first year as, as top dog? Just how many things I messed up. I was <laughs> uh, made so many mistakes that. Like what? Uh, you name it. 418. We talked about this earlier. <laughs> I keep a list. Y'all all know I'm a lister. But I made 418. And, uh, you know, I, I tell our kids they won 20 games last year and I lost 14. So uh, I learned so much. Uh, and, and now that I'm a year into it, I'm trying not to make those same mistakes again uh, that we made last year. And I think, to, you know, we can we can have two weeks in. So far, so good. I was going to say, where are you at now? Like two or three? Uh, eight. <laughs> eight. 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 Yeah, so far. We're going to try and get you through this and great. have it still be eight. Yeah, if I don't mess this up and leave it at eight <laughs> for today, it'd be great. Well, I remember when, when you were coming on to being the head coach last season, I remember Jazz was someone who was really in your corner. And you were there and helping her develop as a player. Jazz, you came in under-recruited. You had a chip on your shoulder. Yeah. Now you're three-time first-team All-Pac-12. You're on pace to be uh, Washington's all-time leading scorer. I have to ask, what more is there for you to prove? Like, what, what is on your list? You know, it's, I'm still chip on my shoulder. I, st I will never, ever forget about that chip. I will never, ever forget that UW is the only school to offer me, Pac-12 school to offer me. So I still will go out there and play every game like you still don't know me. You don't know my first name, my last name. You don't know who I am. So that's, that's, that's just how I like to play. Teams better know you. You, you know, uh -huh. 276 points away. You mentioned from becoming the all-time leading scorer at Washington. So I'm thinking, what, like late November, early December, <laughs> you're, you'll have the record. Is that fair? You know, I, I, I'm just gonna say we'll take it day by day, okay. game by game. How about that? But she's lethal. I mean, we saw in the previews, your crossover is one of the most lethal. I'd say my ankles hurt just watching. Just watching. <laughs> I, I lost a shoe watching a clip of yours, but. Coaches have worked with you on lessening turnovers, being more efficient. So where have you grown your game into the senior year? And if you can point out, you know, things coaches are telling you. I think it's more of IQ. I've grown over the years and I've just, I don't know, I think I've just gained this natural ex um, experience all of a sudden. I feel like the old head on the team, you know. Um, yeah, that is definitely something that Coach Neighbors and I and Coach Castro, all the coaches and I have talked about just turnovers, being a point guard. That's just something you don't want to have under your belt. So every game we always talk about, hey, maybe, maybe if you slowed it down a little bit, maybe go a little stronger on the pass, maybe you would have gotten it there. And We always talk about the turnovers and really just everything to, I can do to get better. What, what stood out too last year, Coach Neighbors also said, it wasn't just on-court growth. You started to take your schoolwork more seriously. You started to step up to the leadership position more seriously. What clicked? Was there a turning point? I think it was me realizing it is my last year. <laughs> And seeing the freshmen come in, I think that's what really clicked for me. Seeing these freshmen and seeing myself in these freshmen, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Seeing that made me want to be more of a leader for them and be more of just a selfless person and more of a team person for them. So yeah, that's definitely what. It's been a while since Roz and I were freshmen, but we can imagine <laughs> how, how oh you my felt. Gosh. Yeah. I want to talk about one of those freshmen, Kelsey Plum. Coach, you saw what she did when she came in and, and what she kind of did for your program last year. Give us an update on how she's doing in the off season and what we can expect from her this season. Some of the off-court growth <clears throat> that Jazz mentioned, she's experiencing now too, and she's been able to learn that from Jazz. Uh, she looks different. Her body looks like a, a sophomore now instead of a, a high school freshman coming in. She, she's changed her, uh, her diet, she's changed her, she's always taking care of those things, but she looks different. Lauren McGuigan, our strength and conditioning coach, deserves an award. They should start giving awards out. She deserves one for the way all these kids look. Now, I'll mention Jazz on the tail end of this. Jazz looks fast now. I said this to her in practice the other day. I've coached her for three years and I've never described her as fast. 
quick, elusive, and all those things. But she made a couple of moves in practice the other day, and she just looks really, really <laughs> fast on her feet. And that goes back to things that she's done with Lauren and you know, the commitment that she showed this summer as well. But um, the two of those two guys together, I think Jazz and Kelsey elevated each other uh, to a level that I'm not even sure they knew they could go to uh, in such a short time. And it's just fun to watch them every day. How special is that as a coach to watch? Uh, you better enjoy it while you have it because it's rare to have that that competitiveness. I still haven't put them on the same team yet this year. <laughs> Last year it took me about four weeks to do it, so uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, you can't replace that. You can coach all you want, but you when if they don't have that uh, competitiveness head to head, and for them to be able to do it, uh, it raises everybody's team. Whatever team she's on, whether it's purple, whether it's gold, they've got a leader. And that's rare in practice. So I cherish it every single day. I know that I don't, don't have it all the time, but I hope that Jazz is going to leave behind somebody in her shoes uh, when she does go on. Jazz, you told me before you were abroad in Tahiti. Awesome right. that Washington offers a program in Tahiti. What were you doing and what was the highlight of that experience? Really, it was working with the kids up there, um, sports. Uh, it was a lot of athletes. So we had football, basketball, volleyball, and we were teaching these kids how to play and why we play and showing them how we do things in Washington. So it, also enjoying the beaches and the sun up there at the same time. So it was really a great experience just to work with those kids. Before we let you go, how has Media Day been? You're, you're our last student athlete and coach up here today. How has it been for you guys? Are we treating you right? Great. Awesome. Great. I could, I could keep going. Did you get to the bubble machine? No, did not you? yet. Not I've yet. I've done the bubble machine. Uh, you have done the bubble machine. How did you? Did, did you have any moves? You're just going to have to watch. I'm just yeah. going yeah. to just gonna have to wait to see. Knowing co you, Coach, you're a strategy guy, but you had strategy within the bubble. <laughs> How many mistakes did you make in the bubble yeah. machine? There were six, I think. Uh, six. I, I can take yeah. them off the top. He but. was keeping stats. Yeah. <laughs> but it, we did say this right before we came on. It is fun, and it's a unique environment to, for, to have for Media Day. I mean, you're, you're friends with all of the girls that you go against yes. on a regular basis. So I, I imagine that's pretty fun for you guys. Oh, yeah. It's fun to see that they're opposite of what you think. You know? Like Tia Presley's actually nice. So. Yes. Yeah. You know, and she's, 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 great. she's super aggressive. And then when you meet her, she's, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> you know? So it's fun to see that um, when you're meeting other players. That's cool. All right. Well, it has been fun for us to watch all of you and talk to all of you. Thanks, Thanks so much Thank for you. having us. And uh, we'll see you in the bubble room, all right? All right. <laughs>